Okay. Now I shall I shall estimate the Pearson just one minute. I make it font is big, I take fourteen. Okay. Now I shall estimate Pearson correlation. Okay. So we have already three variables. So so I I can estimate Pearson correlation coefficient. So we have these three variables investment, consumption and savings. So I go to analyze, then I choose the correlate, then bivariate. What does mean by bivariate? Between any two variable that is called bivariate. I choose it and all the three variables are already here. You can see investment, consumption, savings all are here and here I choose Pearson and here I choose one tail test. Why? Because I know the their, their association among all the variables that uh, that in, uh, from the beginning I know. So that is why I have chosen one tail test not two tail. Okay then I press OK to estimate the result. The result is coming up gradually you can see from here the result is coming up. The result is coming up gradually okay the so so this one is called the co co correlation matrix so what i do i make it big slightly so i make it big so i make it uh, i make it uh, slightly big so i think i have to go to toolbar I make it uh, 14 yes so the result has become big okay now uh, so here I can start to write right here I can write something so here you can see our three variable investment consumption and savings also here investment consumption and savings and you can see Pearson cor cor correlation. What about this value? This value is the Pearson cor correlation between investment and savings, meaning that Pearson Pearson correlation between investment and savings. How much? Zero point zero nine four meaning that 9 point plus 9.4 percent right so the the association ship between investment and savings is 9.4 percent but but the association ship is very weak association ship very weak association ship very weak. That means if savings goes up, investment also goes up and savings goes down, investment also goes down. But but they only influence each other only 9.4 percent and that is why I am saying they have very weak association shape but one thing is good their association ship is positive that we initially that we initially expected that their association ship ship should be positive so we are happy about it because their association ship is positive 
but the question is that whether this association shape is significant or not that we must check okay and so we can see from here the significancy you can see from here one tail test is how much this one 0 0.413 significancy level or p-value is how much 0 0.413 meaning that 41.3 percent is their significancy level and here the p value and significance c value is the same thing there is no difference between significancy and p value and what is our null hypothesis there is no positive association ship there is no positive association ship between the two variable such as savings and investment and alternative there is there is signi there is positive association ship right there is positive association ship okay and what is the guideline the guideline is if the p value is less than 5% we reject now hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis that is the guideline normally but here the p value is 41.3% meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that these two variable such as investment and savings they do not have any type of association ship they do not have any association ship at least they do not have no positive association ship or I can say there is no association ship between these two variables right because uh, because uh, it is because we we have been failed to reject the null hypothesis so there is no association ship so uh, okay okay so what about the second one consumption and savings our second pair and 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 and, and the second pair what is the correlations minus 0. Point, you take from here 0. Point, uh, 767 meaning that minus 76.7 percent right and their association shape is strong association shape meaning that if savings goes up consumption goes down or consumption goes down or savings goes down consumption goes up and their association ship is 76.7 percent and 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 their association ship is negative right and and their influence is very strong on on e each other but negatively negatively they influence 
each other by 76.7%. Okay. Negatively, they influence each other by 76.7%. So the association ship is strong. But the question is that whether this association ship, negative association ship is significant or not. That we want to check. What is our null hypothesis? There is no significant significant negative association ship association ship between these two variable such as savings and consumption an alternative there is significant right negative association ship okay and for this case what is the p value or sig value p value how much for our case p value becomes uh, we see from here 0 0.0130.013 0 .013, meaning that 1.3 percent okay 1.3 percent means less than 5 percent so meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis meaning that there is significant negative association ship between these two variable that we thought initially that means these two variables in the that means these two variables are negatively correlated in the population that means when savings goes up consumption goes down and when consumption go, goes up savings goes down and this thing has been tested here again tested has been tested here again okay okay the third pair third pair is between investment and consumption you can see from here so here what is the correlation between these two variables 0 0.358 meaning that 35.8 percent so uh, so medium strong I would say medium strong association ship association ship medium strong because it is 35.8 percent but here our hypothesis we said initially now there is negative association ship uh, or, or, or say or, or, or I can write these two variables are significant these two variables are negatively associated right because and what is alternative uh, they are not they are not they are not uh, uh, negatively associated but here you can see the problem is that the sign is positive the sign is positive right but we expected a negative sign but here the sign is positive so we are not happy about it moreover our 
p value or sig value here is how much sig or p value is uh, 0, uh, 0 0.192 meaning that 19.2 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis so uh, so what is our null these two variables are not negatively associated so we we have to accept this hypothesis that means these two variables are not negatively associated that we thought initially so they are not negatively associated so so uh, it is against the against the uh, population phenomena right or it is against the real scenario scenario because what happens normally when consumption goes up investment goes down or consumption goes down investment goes up but that should should be should be happened but here it is not happening like that so so we cannot accept this result or 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 uh, or or uh, but we have to test again or uh, it should be negative but it is not here right so it is against the economic theory or it is against the scenario uh, uh, okay So, uh, so that is the whole things are here. Okay, here I have done a mistake. They are actually should be alternative. They are. These two variables are not negatively associated. Alternative, they are negatively associated in the population population means in the real world right they are negatively associated uh, and uh, so so I check double check here there is no positive association there is positive association shape that is the alternative there is no significant negative association there is significant association. okay that's fine then the last one these two variables are not uh, negative blasted this they are negative blasted are not they are right population so it is against the okay I double check So the whole thing is done and thank you very much for being with me for a while. So this one is the terms of uses.